So what we offer here is uh, basically one plate, uh, but it could come in three different variations. And that's mainly due to different uh, strap systems. Uh, this is our SS2 strap system. That's our proprietary plug that plugs into here. Then it could come with the QD option. This option is from other brands that use the QD type. That's similar to that military Magpul. No option at all if you never really intend to um, use this with the uh, shoulder strap. So since this is three variations, on our website you can buy um, and configure whichever option you need. Okay, if you're buying this on the dealer website, uh, look into which option is most suitable for you. What also, uh, what also I'm showing here, these are the PM501 plates. These plates will work with the Manfrotto type 501 head, uh, but currently in um, this batch that we sell, they do not work on the Ronin. So we offer like a standard, like a three and a half inch version and a six inch version, okay? Uh, and this would work inside the Manfrotto, but it will not work in the Ronin. And I'll show you that later. So the way these uh, straps work, I'll uh, show you the QD option. This just plugs in here. So if you have a camera attached, it's easy to use it with a strap. Let me show you the uh, SS2 option. So with the SS2, we use this plug. That is, if we use it here, it's just simply, it just doesn't fit, okay? If we use it with the SS2, plugs right in, okay? Naming convention here is PRS002, similar to the RS002 for the Ronin. P just stands for Promedia. Uh, and they also differ with the Manfrotto type plates. As the rail, as it comes in, is on the left side and Manfrotto is on the right side. Uh, generally when you install a plate into a Manfrotto, just the way you slide in, it activates this trigger and this works as a captive mechanism. Now you need to press this to release it. And then you tighten this and the plate is secure. Now these are just slightly too small to work on the Ronin. In the future we actually probably plan on making these compatible as well uh, just by slightly increasing the width and it should still work and it will still work with the Manfrotto. So now if we use uh, this plate here I mean you can mount it it's just this trigger is not in optimal position you can still lock it so the lock uh, but the guides are in opposite directions so you can probably use it like this on the reverse. Um, so see if it's up to you. Um, I would recommend that you use a specific Ronin plate on the Ronin. Okay. Offers the safety and, and all the features. Use at your own risk with the uh, Manfrotto. But it'll, it will lock here uh, inside the head. And uh, you'll get a nice and tight mount. All right, so we're going to take this off. And I'll show you how they work with the Ronin. And this is just a, uh, this here is just a shorter version of the same plate. Just goes right in. It's still, uh, you still have the safety option where it doesn't fall out. And then you just lock it in so it stays in place. All right. All these plates have an ARCA clamp built in. So if I'm trying to mount uh, a camera with the bottom plate or an L bracket, uh, it'll just go right in here. Just need to open that up a little bit. And then you can actually slide for perfect positioning. And it just tightens the clamp. Okay, so right now we have it mounted here. And then you can move the knob out of the way. The knob is adjustable, okay? All right, so right now, as this stands, this is ready to be mounted on the Ronin. This is the top view of the gimbal. So the plate, the Ronin plate, the PRS002, would mount into this clamp. Just have to open it. Slides right in. You have a safety so it doesn't fall out. And it just tightens here. It locks in about uh, halfway on this, uh, on this knob, or oh, lever, I should say. All right, so it goes right in. 
you can fine tune the position and if you want to mount the camera basically goes in like this hope you can see this you open the clamp All right so we open the clamp goes right in it's probably easier to actually pre-mount the plate on the camera and then put it on the Ronin so I think that's what I would do so we have a plate mounted on the camera and then we just mount it inside the Ronin rail okay and you can go f as far back uh, as you want almost without hitting the uh, the back part over here okay So then notice uh, my camera is actually uh, the center of gravity is in the back, so I have to shift the plate forward. It's still in the back, I have to shift the plate forward. So right now, that's the low back. That's about where you want it. And it's a little bit to the left, so we can actually use the Ronin to adjust or we can use the plate to adjust. If you have a Ronin, I think you know uh, what you're doing here. All right. So then I already have the vertical height adjusted. I can just turn it on and show you how it works. So it's a really nice accessory if you want to use the camera with Arca plates on the Ronin. Alternatively, you can also mount the camera in vertical orientation. Shut it down. So basically, you would swap open up this clamp here and mount the camera in vertical orientation and then you find the centers of gravity or whatnot you can make a mark with a marker where you actually want this you have a center point mark over here on the clamp okay so we're gonna turn it on here So right now, we have a camera mounted vertically on the Ronin. So uh, one final thing, um, when we take this out, safety still works. Um, so if you're trying the Manfrotto type plates, uh, like this one here, once again, we just made them a tad too small so they don't lock in the Ronin. They kind of work, but the, uh, they're not optimized to use the uh, safety feature. So for a Ronin, we do recommend a PRS002 type plate. Goes right in and it locks perfectly. It's uh, secure and yeah, not going anywhere. All right, and then you have this adjustable knob. So if it's in the way, you can point it in the direction so it's away from interfering with anything. So yeah, please subscribe and share this video and uh, see you next time. Thanks.